and go in, but try and go back into normal life. I don't know, but you know, one thing I'm quite adamant that things aren't going to change too much. I'm going to try and continue as things were. I mean, I lead a pretty normal life like most people, and I train hard, I work hard on what I do, but ultimately I'm very normal in my life aside from cycling and I'm not a celebrity I will never be a celebrity I don't consider myself a celebrity I don't like I despise that whole celebrity culture I think this country's become so fascinated with people that become famous for not achieving anything in their lives and I think that all the army people that have been here at the security checkpoints and things through this Olympic Games you know you, you speak to them and you see what one one of the fellas said to me yesterday that he read my book the night before they went into into Helmand and um, he said it was he was a jock and he said it was fucking inspirational and uh, you know for, for someone like that to say that to you I think that that summed it up to me because that was because um, you know those kind of people the real heroes what they have to go through and this is just sport and it's it's nothing it's a different world you know so so that's that's sort of more humbling really and I think that. That, that's kind of keeping that rea check of reality of what this is. At the end of the day, we're sportsmen, we do what we do, and it's fantastic, but there are other things out there in the world that are far more important than what we're doing on this stage. And I think as long as you don't forget those kind of things, then you, you don't become so engrossed in your own arsehole. And I think um, I think that's more important, really. And, and I, as I said, aim to just continue normal things, you know. After the Olympics is done, my kids go back to school in September, and I'm taking them back to school, and in the mornings pick them up and go to Tesco and get a pint of milk because that's normal life, that's reality, you know. Whatever comes of having achieved something in sport, you know, brilliant. I'd take everything that there is, but um, it is sport at the end of the day, so. Many thanks, Bradley, the okay, most decorated British Olympian. Oh, wonderful, yeah.